Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in front of Shaw's. I was visiting my mother. I just left. I spent an hour and a half with her today. We had a nice visit because there was somebody there who brings a dog to visit his owner. It's a, a woman whose son is in rehab and she brought his dog and it's a beautiful dog and I've seen the dog there before and I've chatted with the woman a little bit so today I got brave and I asked her if she could please bring the dog in so that my mother could visit with the dog. So that was awesome. My mother loves dogs. And then there's a little woman who is usually sitting in the hallway every time I go in and out and every time I go by she says, you're so pretty. And I always say, you're so pretty too. And then, and it's funny because so many times I forget my glasses at my mother's and so I have to go back. And then when I go back and I pass that woman, same thing. You're so pretty. You're so pretty too. I see her almost every day and she's just so sweet. And then it dawned on me, I, you know, if she's from Sanford. She looks like my mother's age. They probably know each other. So today she was up and walking and I know she has Alzheimer's or something because the other day she was just standing by the chair where she usually is sitting and, and, I, and I looked at her and instead of her saying, you're so pretty, she said, do I belong here? And I thought she meant, you know, on the chair. So I said, yes, this is where you're always sitting. I don't like to sit. It's so cute. And I think she just meant that, do I belong here in this place? So today she was up and walking. So I was walking with her in the hallway. And I thought, she probably doesn't even know her name. But I asked her name. And she said her last name. And I figured, well, it must be that. And then, then I asked her first name. And she came out with a name. And it sounded very familiar to me. So I just chatted with her for a little bit. And went in and told my mother. And uh, I'll just say the first name, Gabriel. And my mother's like are you serious she's like i was just thinking about them so what it is is that woman's husband and my father were best friends and my mother hung out with gabrielle a lot i mean she was even telling me stories about how they were even like from teenagers and up and she says we would lay in bed together and talk about all kinds of things and she says while the the guys were you know doing whatever they were doing talking hunting or whatever she was we'd go up in the bedroom and just lay down like two silly girls and just have fun and ask each other all kinds of questions and so <laughs> and, and uh i said i'm gonna go see if gabrielle will come in here and i didn't think she'd remember my mother and she didn't but she did come in and my mother could not believe she was seeing her friend they haven't seen each other in probably uh, 30, 40 years. You know, it was a long time ago when they were young, probably even longer than that because, you know, I'm 56 almost in a couple days, a couple weeks, I should say. I knew of these people, but my parents weren't hanging out with friends when I was growing up. So, so it was a long time ago that they knew each other. But anyway, it was just nice that my mother got to see a friend and a dog and my mother was sitting in the chair. So I got to lay on her bed. That was awesome. And I got to see my mother walk and I and the occupational therapist was there. So she's like, oh, I'm so glad you're here so you can tell me how you think your mom is doing. And she is walking way better than she was walking when she went in the hospital. So I was very glad about that. And I witnessed my mother going into the bathroom all by herself and coming back out all by herself. So that's very good. So she is getting on her way to coming home. I don't know, I'm probably guessing like maybe another week. I'm not hungry because Sandy brought me lunch today. She brought me this gigantic piece of zucchini that was stuffed, stuffed zucchini. It was so incredibly delicious. I want more Sandy. <laughs> So I'm not really hungry right now, but I know when I get home, I'll probably regret it if I don't come out and make myself a salad. So I am going to go make a salad, and it's a good time to make a salad at the salad bar when I'm not hungry, because then I won't like load up on it. And I have some steak at home, so I think I'm gonna just cut some nice thin slices of steak, cook that in a frying pan, salad on the side. Sounds like an awesome dinner and I have some cottage cheese on my salad, love that. So I'm just gonna go in and do that and I will take the camera just in case I find something I wanna show you in there and then I'll talk to you again when I come out. Visiting my old hangout, the chip aisle. <laughs> and no, I will not be buying chips. I'm here because no one's in this aisle. I wanna show you what I got. These little chicken tenders, 
I'm going to end up getting $6 off, so I'll be paying $1.10. And that's just perfect for my supper. Instead of cooking my steak, I think I'll do this. I'll probably do both. Chicken and beef. I love it. $1.10. I made what was supposed to be a tiny salad. Of course, people are here now. I gotta go find another aisle. This was supposed to be a tiny salad, but it's not tiny. Probably gonna pay six, seven bucks for that. But it looks so good. And I got some bananas because I forget that bananas are so good for us. I could eat a banana every now and then. Plus, I might have a concoction coming up that requires bananas. And then I'm getting some of this grilled chicken, which is normally five bucks for eight piece. It has a dollar off, so I'll pay four. So I'm gonna treat myself to that. I'm, I'm not one for seasonings, but it's seasoned. I don't care. That's it. Go check out. I'll see you in the car. I'm back. You saw everything I bought. I didn't pick up anything else. There would have been like a really good sale on candy bars or something. I would have picked a couple up for my mother. Bring her one a day. Try to bring her one item a day. But I didn't bring her anything today. I was gonna bring her a piece of that spice cake with the peanut butter and molasses, but yesterday I bought her like a fruit pie that comes in a box, and she said she was only going to eat half of it, so I figured half would be left today, but of course not. So I'll bring her a piece of that spice cake tomorrow. I'm gonna go home, upload this, and hopefully I'll have a five random facts you never need to know about me video tonight. Maybe a YouTube tip, I don't know. And I have paperwork I have to do that I haven't done yet. So I don't know how much I'll get done. And I have America's Got Talent tonight, eight o'clock, eight to 10, but I won't just sit and watch that. I'll just have my TV on as I work. Let's go home. Thank you for coming in the store with me. I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.